Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the card of confusion over here. You're in some kind of situation, uh, maybe feeling a little trapped in whatever you're doing and you have to make some kind of decision. You can't really see your way out of what is going on. There might have been some kind of a dispute that you have uh, encountered uh, in the work front and maybe you've had to ask for uh, an apology or you've had to make an apology uh, or somebody else has had to make an apology to you. There's that forgiveness card over there. So, uh, you know, having to uh, concede uh, that something didn't go quite right and make things right. So maybe you're trying to mend relationships there. Now, in the past year, you've got the solitude cards. You've been working pretty much by yourself, very independently uh, and, you know, uh, doing things uh, um, so that you can move forward. But really, you know, very, very independent working going on over there. You're in a situation where you have to make some kind of decision. Maybe you want to make a fresh start and you're trying to, uh, you know, um, decide what to do. You've got the stop, look and listen card over here in this past. So things are at a little bit of standstill. You're looking at all the facts, weighing all your options and trying to decide how you want to move forward. And this maybe is the thing that is confusing you because, you know, you really... It seems like it's an all stop at this particular moment because you're in a position of being very confused uh, and not really knowing what to do. So in both situations, the person is pretty much stuck there. Now things are about to change. You've got the horseshoe coming in here, which is saying that you know there's a change in fortune there. So good fortune coming your way. Going to the future, you've got a lot of self-doubt coming over there, and you know you are standing up for yourself. So, uh, you know, um, have a bit more confidence in uh, yourself, um, and you know whatever you are, uh, you know, in two minds about, find out about it, research about it, find out about it, get the solution that way, and don't second guess yourself. You do need to stand up for what you believe in, and uh, you know, and defend yourself in whatever the situation is. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the Bright Idea deck for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the feeling or comfort card over here. So this is about you needing to take a little bit of a break. Maybe you've been working really, really hard at what you're doing, and it is time to take a little bit of a, maybe have a little bit of a holiday, uh, take a little bit of a break from whatever you're doing, see things from a different perspective. You definitely need more rest, uh, and maybe you've been working very, very hard because it's, um, you know, and very, very stressed out about what you're doing, so you do need... Uh, to get uh, some time out um, in, from whatever's been going on with you. Now, uh, the main card is the energy card or the sun card there, and this is about doing an invention. So you've been work working very, very hard at what you're doing. Uh, you can see this man's throwing rocks into this particular machine and working very hard. So you're, whatever you're doing, you know, um, it's uh, something uh, new, something different. Uh, it's um, different from the old. Uh, you may have started some kind of new business or, uh, you know, you're doing something brand new as far as the, on the work front goes. There's a lot of hard work that has gone into it. Um, you know, you're not, and, uh, you know, things are moving pretty quickly there. So you're having to produce a lot of whatever you're doing. Um, and, you know, it's, you've got a lot of people that are jealous around you or uh, maybe envious that you're actually managing to get so much done in such a short period of time. But it's taken its toll on you because you've got that uh, card where you need to actually rest. So you could have been, you know, you could have started your own business and you're doing it very different from everybody else. And that's taken all your time and this has stressed you out. And, um, you know, uh, you're working very long hours as well. 
especially with that sun card, putting a lot of energy, working late hours, but there's success that is coming in. You can see this man's planted all these flowers, tulips, uh, in that uh, you know desert kind of uh, background there. So whatever you're working in is very, very new. It's, very, it's going to bring big change. It's very innovative. Um, but you've had to put in a lot of hard work into it. The Sun card talks about, you know, almost slaving away at whatever you've been doing. So um, that is, uh, you know, why you are feeling so low in energy at the moment. But with that Sun card, a lot of success is coming, coming in. So whatever you've been doing is now starting to produce the fruits. So in the past, you've got the High Priestess card over here. So you've had to work by yourself, learn a lot of things, do a lot of research, uh, you know, and you've been going on, uh, you know, feeling, um, using your instincts to actually get things done, following your intuition over here. And you've been working pretty independently. There's been really no help. The high priestess usually sits alone and has to do things by herself. So this is where you are at at the moment. Now, whatever you're doing, you already have a talent for it, an aptitude for it. It is something really good. Uh, it is something very original. Uh, and you have been very focused on it as well. But you're enjoying what you're doing at the moment, even though you're working so hard. What you want is achievement, success. You want people to recognize whatever you're doing. Um, and you want victory in this particular situation. So you are looking to achieve that. That's the six of frauds. So you are looking for, um, you know, accolades to come in, people to recognize. Uh, you know, even maybe you even want a medal uh, for whatever you're doing as well. But there's a lot of people supporting you and cheering you on. Now, you are working with a group of people over here. You've got the cooperation card over here. You can see the sign of Taurus there, so working pretty hard. And whatever you're doing is very, very unique. You're building it up, working with a group of people where you'll get together, um, you know, you'll get along pretty well. Uh, this is a new cycle. There's a lot of communication going on uh, between you and maybe people overseas, foreigners. So you, maybe you're going global with whatever you're doing. Uh, but it is, it's growing. It's getting there, and it's bringing in that money as well. Um, you've got the chariot card over here. This is about success. So you're not letting any obstacles get you down. You can see this woman's really bulldozing her way through fences. So you, uh, you have a plan in your head. You have a, um, a, you know, a goal that you want to pursue, and you're not allowing anything to stand in your way. You're going for it. So this is the card of achievement, the chariot card. Um, you're taking control of that situation, but also achieving success. You can see the moon and the sun are there, so an end of old things with that last face of the moon, but the beginning of something brand new. But, uh, you know, it's going to bring you a lot of success as well. So you are pretty focused on what you're doing. Uh, you know, your your um, whatever it is, um, is very intricate. It is very specialist as well. And you have a lot of understanding and, uh, you know, you are, you're getting on top of things as well. You are learning how to use the right things for the right job over here, and you are very focused on producing um, whatever it is you are producing. And there's going to be a lot of expansion. You've got the uh, sign of Sagittarius over here, so going out globally, internationally, uh, communicating internationally as well. So you are hoping for some kind of success. There might this is, this is the celebration card. So expecting some kind of success to come in, and that is what you're hoping for, and that is what you want. So you are waiting for some achievement. Whatever you've put out there, you're waiting for it to be success. You have been putting a lot of hard work into it. So you are, and you're you know you're going for it. Uh, you're not holding back. You're giving it all you've got, and you're waiting for some success to come in there. So the final outcome, we're going to the future. You've got the collaboration card over there, the enough card, and the preservation card. So uh, you will be communicating with a lot of people. Uh, you know, maybe you do need to get some fresh ideas from people around you that you're working with. So this group of people that you are working with in that cooperation card, you need to have a lot more collaboration. You need to speak to them a lot more. They've got some ideas uh, that you need to hear. So you could be heading this project. Like I said, this could be uh, some business that you have started. And you need to find out what is going down. Um, you also need to, you know, get to grips with, um, uh, as they say, keep it real. So make sure that you know you are getting a, a ground view of what is going on. Um, and uh, you know, um, if anybody has any concerns, you do need to listen to those, or you know, uh, you need to understand what is going on over there. So uh, a lot more collaboration. This could also be that you know you'll be meeting a lot more people on that international front and uh, you know, having a lot of communication with them as well. 
So you've got the enough card, which is the Knight of Pentacles, and this is talking about, uh, you know, you achieving everything, really. Uh, that independence, the money coming in with that Nine of, Cup, uh, Nine of Pentacles, uh, and success coming in as well, um, you know, and um, getting more than enough, really, with this particular card. So, you know, whatever you're, you're doing is going to uh, produce a lot of financial uh, rewards, um, and it's going to be very successful as well. Uh, you've got the preservation card over here. So, you know, this is about um, focusing on that career. You've got Sun in Capricorn over there and that being successful as well. But also maybe seeing things from a different perspective as well, looking at other people's point of view. That's why that collaboration card is coming. You can see this little girl is being a bit stubborn. Uh, you need to think outside of the box. So you need to think outside of the bottle here and maybe get some kind of advice uh, or listen to what people have got to say and how they want, uh, you know, what their uh, input is. You do need to take consideration of other people's input. Don't, don't be stubborn about uh, following only your point of views. It seems like people do have something to say and it might be very, very helpful and allow you to move uh, to success even uh, faster. So there is money coming in, but you do need to, uh, you know, look um, get that advice and um, follow it really. With the preservation card is the four of coins. This is about establishing your um, empire really. So putting down stable roots. Four is about stability and since it's um, uh, pentacles it's about putting down financial security and financial stability and that is where you're getting. You're getting to that point with that nine of pentacles where you're going to be able to make enough money that's going to bring you that financial stability as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot for the main read for the main oracle read. Okay, so the, you've got the hermit card, so you have been really, really focused on work over here. So uh, find or be a mentor, break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. So whatever you're doing is pretty unique. It's very, very different from everybody else, and you are working on it very, very much by yourself. But you're also very, very focused on it. So a lot of things will be coming to light uh, with this particular focus. The Hermit, ruled by Mercury, focuses on work and uh, putting a lot of effort into whatever you're doing. Then you've got the Three of Summer, which is what you've been waiting for. So this is news worth celebrating. So it seems like, you know, with this... Uh, achievement card as well as the celebration card uh, where you've been hoping for this particular success that comes in to you uh, comes in for you because you've got the three of summer over here and it says newsworth celebrating announcements uh, and as weddings graduations or births but in this case this is about celebrating success in whatever you're doing so some really good news coming and that's going to cause a lot of celebration for you you've got the seven of summer over here and you can see that rainbow coming in that is also you know getting over difficulties and obstacles it says no more procrastinating your power comes from making a decision confusion that arises from over analyzing the options so it need, it seems like you know you make a decision you decide what uh, which way you're going to go and you just follow it so stop procrastinating and a lot of success is coming in for you as well you're going to be able to get through any kind of problems with that rainbow coming in there and uh, you know there's maybe some decision that you have to make pretty quickly um, and stop over analyzing don't second guess yourself um, just go for it and do it follow your instincts as well and all this hard work is going to pay off because you've got that Sun card over there and this is about ultimate success really it's a major arcana card and it shows complete success so all this hard work that you have been putting into this particular project or in this particular whatever it is is going to produce um, rewards because there's that celebration card coming in over there uh, so you've been very focused and celebration coming in. But make sure that you're taking some kind of a break as well because you are pretty stressed out and you do need some time to recuperate as well. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.